Windows 10 support is over and Windows 11 has some really steep hardware requirements. If you don't want to buy a new computer, you might be looking for a free solid alternative. And maybe you've heard about Linux, but it seems complicated. But it really isn't, you are in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB drive with Pop! OS, a version of Linux that's actually really easy to use, so you can install it on any computer. First, back up your data. I cannot stress this enough. We will be erasing your main drive. Second, we need to download the Pop! OS ISO file. Head over to system76.com slash pop. Simply click on the download button. This will take you to the download page. If you're not sure or if you have Intel or AMD graphics, download the standard version. If your computer has an NVIDIA GPU, download the NVIDIA version. Just press download and save it to the downloads. After the download is complete, it's a good idea to verify the downloaded ISO, but due to the limited time of this video, I will not show this process, but you can check it out in my full video that I'm gonna put the link to. Third, we need a tool to write this ISO file to a USB drive. For this, we'll use a free open source tool called Balana Etcher. Just search for Balana Etcher in your browser and download it. It's available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. If Balena Etcher doesn't work for some reason, you can try Rufus, which is another great tool you can use, or Vento if you like. Finally, you'll need a USB drive that's at least 8GB in size. Anything on it will be completely erased. So make sure it's empty or you're okay with losing the data. Open up Balena Etcher, click Flash from File and select Pop! OS ISO file you just downloaded. Select Target, make sure your USB drive is selected click flash. If you will get a security message pop up, press yes and the process will begin. Once it's done, it says flash complete. You can close Etcher. Safely eject the USB drive and pull it out if you plan to install it on a different computer. If you will be installed on the same computer, you can keep it plugged in. Now you have a fully functional USB drive with the bootable Pop! OS on it, so you can go ahead and install it on any computer. But before you do that, you're gonna need to disable secure boot or fast boot on your computer and also make sure that your storage is set to AHCI, not Intel RST or not in RAID mode. But if you wanna go ahead and check out my full video, I'm gonna put the link to it, so make sure to check it out and I'll see you there.